Hi YouTube, Rob here with another Bible review. Uh, this time I'm going to be looking at uh, this. It is the Faith Life Study Bible. And I'll just show you the box there. It is uh, produced by uh, Zondervan. Uh, it is in the NIV translation. I know that you can get it also in the uh, New King James. Uh, but this again is an interesting study Bible. One again that I've had for a wee while now. Got some interesting features, but also some things that I'm not so keen about. Um, and we'll just have a look at those as we go through this review. Now there's the box. I'll just show you the back of the box there. I don't know whether everybody can you can pause it. I'll just move my thumb out of the way. Tells you some of the features there. Uh, it tells you what uh, sort of study notes is. Now the Faith Life Study Bible is produced by Logos who do the Bible software and pretty much if you've got Logos uh, either the free version or the or the paid version um, you can um, you can get this uh, pretty much for free the, the, the notes that are in here but it's nice to have them because it's got some really really quite good sort of graphics and stuff in here uh, uh, some some unusual stuff which is quite nice. So that's the box. Uh, this comes. This is the uh, black and grey uh, leather soft. Quite nice, attractive Bible. Uh, the cover is very very pleasant. Uh, you know, in the two tone colour there with the grey and the black. And it's all sort of stitched as you can see, perimeter stitched. Again, it's in there leather soft. And uh, you can see there it's a black back. Uh, with a grey uh, uh, panel at the front and then stitch around the side. It has gilt edges, it has uh, black and silver, so the head and tail bands you can see there, but just one silver ribbon uh, which was sort of tucked up and it's it's sort of been creased in the when it was when I when I opened the box and opened the let the the ribbon was was mangled up as you can see there. But it is just a um, leather soft uh, paste down liner again uh, Thomas, N Thomas uh, Zondervan and Thomas Nelson seem to be doing this with their paste down liners so having the present presentation page on the inner cover of the the paste down liner it's quite it seems to be fairly strong and it is quite a, a flexible and limp Bible it opens flat straight from the word go I'll give you a wee note about the sizes it is so six and three quarter inches roughly wide. It is nine and a half roughly tall and just around about just under two inches thick. So it is a, a big Bible, not as big as some study Bibles, but nevertheless it is it is quite thick. So let's get into the the, the meat of the Bible. Now you can see uh, you've got the Faith Life Study Bible. Uh, and then your sort of introduction uh, to different things, graphics and stuff like that. There's lots of visual content in here, that's one uh, good thing. Uh, some of the academic um, editors here, uh, you've got uh, Michael Heiser, Douglas Mangum, Derek R. Brown, and there is a list, I think, of, of contributors somewhere in here. Which we'll get to. You've got the preface for the NIV, uh, how to study the Bible, and then lots of these, lots of biblical sort of timelines, lots of biblical sort of notes, uh, uh, family trees, and things like that. And it's a pretty much usual sort of fare that you get in the in the uh, in most study Bibles. You've got introduction to the Pentateuch, uh, Genesis, and things like that. And then you've got things like this. On this is the start of Genesis, and this is really cool. I really like that. This is the. It says there the Hebrew ancient Hebrew conception of the universe. Sorry, the Bible's that floppy, it's sort of flopping away in my hand there. When I'm trying to hold it up. You can see there. The sort of, these are the sorts of graphics you get in there. Very very visual. Very handy. I've never seen anything quite like that in in any study Bible that I've owned, and I quite like that. We go over the next pages into uh, the start of Genesis, and you've got the days in pictorial form. So the days of creation there. Um, 
as you can see oops sorry try and get that day one day two etc and we'd also have word studies again which is quite handy you've got a the Bible itself is a is a two column text I would say that's around about uh, maybe 8.5 font the paper quality is pretty good uh, I don't know what font it's not the comfort print this is not done in the the new um, NIV comfort print but it's still very readable and the paper is pretty good for a study Bible you do get some show through but uh, it's not bad I don't think it is line matched as far as I can see but with study Bibles you tend to find a lot of the the pictures and diagrams and things tend to show through anyway even if it is line matched so that's not a problem going over the page now you can see the end of that creation uh, diagram and in the bottom uh, of the page you've got the study notes uh, they're delineated from the text by green bar and then it's in a different slightly different colored paper and uh, you, it's quite easy to read the, the study notes are very easy to find so you're going through this you've got a lot of stuff in here uh, you've got the Tower of Babel there you can see uh, what it looks like uh, compared to an American football pitch uh, the sizes of, of it um, but there tends to be that and there's, this is a, an example of one of the family trees you see this is the family tree of the patriarchs and it shows you how they all relate to each other and who's the father of who and I found that very very interesting you can read the sort of genealogies but to actually see them is very very helpful I find so this goes in it is a uh, just a black letter text um, just show you there some of the some of the stuff that's a, a threshing floor shows you how that works uh, it's got book introductions to each book not as sort of extensive as some Bibles it's got the theological notes the covenants of God um, but uh, it is pretty good now the, the thing that sort of bothers me oh, it bothers me and it doesn't bother me that it gives um, never comes down on any one side for any theological so it's not from any theological standpoint it's a very sort of general sort of uh, Bible. It gives you the different viewpoints, which is good, and I and I appreciate that. But it doesn't come down on any side. Now that's okay with certain things, but regarding some of the, I'll show you in the New Testament. See if I can find uh, one of the New Testament books and give you an example of this. Um, so it gives you. Say go to. Uh, say Titus, see what Titus says then. It gives you a wee... Um, hang on a second. Hebrews and the general letters. I think it's in Peter, the one that I can remember, or Jude, one of the two. We'll try First Peter, or Second Peter actually. Now, one of the disputed books of the Bible. That people have always said, well, it shouldn't be in there or should be in there. So, it, what it tells you is that um, it gives you both uh, views on where Peter was written and gives equal weight to both. And now, if you're just studying the Bible just for studying, that's okay. But for a new believer, this could be quite con concerning. As, as myself, I'm, quite an orthodox, I'm an orthodox believer. I believe that, uh, that, that First and Second Peter were written by Peter. And to to sort of question that is to sort of put doubts in the minds of new believers. That could be quite uh, quite worrying. Uh, some comments on some of the the teachings of Paul as well, uh, talking about well, this these these. For instance, he talks about uh, uh, sort of same sex relationships and the role of women in in the church and. And, and and in the study notes, he said, "Well, this was Paul's view, and this was uh, the the prevailing view of the uh, the the people of the time. You know, the, the the that sort of age doesn't say that you know this is God's word. This is you know. So I would have a problem with that. So that minor quibbles, really. But as the Bible as a whole, I really really like it. I mean, the study notes on the whole are pretty good." 
Uh, there's some, some good stuff in here on understanding, we go to Revelation, understanding the different views of the millennium and things like that. Let me just see if I can find that. So there we go, you've got different views of the millennium there. A chart, so the amillennium, dispensational, premillennialism, and then the so on and so forth. And it gives you the differences, what they believe and things like that. Uh, further back in um, Revelation, if I can find it again, and I bet I can't. So you've got four views of Revelation there. Uh, very, very clear, very, very easy to see, very easy to read. Uh, so it is a good Bible. There are, like say, a few sort of question marks on but it causing to question the authors of the books. Uh, it gives you both views, don't get me wrong, it's not biased on one or other, but it leaves it very much open. And for somebody who is a new believer, I would, I would be a bit reticent before I gave them this Bible. It is, I think it's probably more for somebody who's, who's been in the faith for a while and is, is happy and, and, and confident for their beliefs to be challenged. Because uh, so undermining some of these books can lead to all sorts of problems. Undermining some of the doctrines of the Bible can lead to all sorts of problems. But apart from that, I really, really like this Bible. There's some really good stuff in here. Um, like I say, some really good uh, timelines and things like that. You've got a, a, the bottom running through, uh, uh, through, some, through Luke's Gospel there. You've got a timeline, very, very clear, simple timeline of Jesus' Passion and Resurrection. And, and things like that, uh, yeah, going on to, uh, you know, how things happened in, in time, putting the Gospels together and showing you what, what, what happened there. Again, you've got uh, sort of different sort of talking about people groups and stuff, pretty much, like I say, common fare in most sort of study Bibles. But the difference that this does is it does it really well in, it's very visual, very clear. I quite like the layout of it. As you see, it's it's very, very nice. It's very easy to read as well, even though the font's not the biggest. I still really, really like that. In the back, you've got uh, a collection of maps. These are quite nice. Just printed on um, the same paper of the, as the Bible. Uh, but they are quite... I quite like them. They're quite... Well designed, quite clear, um, yeah, quite easy to see the stuff on them. Not the greatest of detail, but adequate. You've got your concordance in the back. And I think, let me just check. Usual sort of tables of weights and measures and things like that. Yeah. And, but yeah. I say there's, there's there's some really good stuff in here. Uh, yeah, there's a miracles of Jesus table there. Uh, yeah, th this it's a really really nice Bible. Like I say, you can see as I hold it, it sort of flops open in the hand. The binding is very very supple. And like I say, you can open it up in Genesis, and it stays open. There we go. So you got a few bits of, few bit of weight of paper anyway to keep it open. But Genesis one one, it's just yeah, no problems, no problems at all. So if you're looking for a study Bible that's quite visual, quite uh, easy to see, quite uh, clear, then by all means do go for this. I can really recommend it, but just be aware that while I appreciate it giving different views on things, that some of the views could lead, as I've said before, could lead some people to to questioning, you know, sort of, you know, the, the, the truth of the Bible in some ways. But but I would like to say, I would, I would recommend it to somebody who is perhaps more mature in the faith than giving it to a, to a new believer. Uh, and uh, so, so that's my view on this. Uh, I say you, I'll try and leave a link for this. This is a relatively new Bible. Uh, and I will leave a link uh, in the description box below. But I'll leave it to that. Well, thanks for, for watching. Thanks for sticking with me this, this far. And uh, hopefully I'll be back again with another Bible or book review very soon. 
Until then, God bless you all, and we'll see you later. Bye.